Hi guys, um, my name's Mitz and um, I just wanted to show you how to put a banner up on your YouTube channel when you become a partner. Okay, um, see I've done a couple of things here. I've put subscribe with an arrow so they know where to subscribe. Um, I've put a link to my ebook um, and these are individual links. These um, Okay, this one goes to free software, this goes to email tips, this goes to my homepage of my website, which is tips4pc.com. Um, okay, so it was pretty difficult doing that because I'm not into this kind of stuff. Um, I'm into computers, okay? And anyway, because I had to use Photoshop and all sorts of things. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how I kind of made this banner. I'm not going to show you the whole thing. I'm going to go to Photoshop. Now there's my banner that I made. But what I'm going to do is quickly show you. Okay, I'm not going to give you a full tutorial on how to make a banner. Um, not that mine's fantastic or anything. But what I did is the first thing I did is I went up to the file menu and I said new. Okay. And the actual banner size for the top is 960 by 150. Okay. And that's pixels. And then just press OK. Alright. So there's the spot. The first thing I did was I put a shape in. Um, in there so I'll just go and get a shape I'm just going to right click on that because I actually want the rectangle tool so that's the shapes there okay so we're on the rectangle tool and now I'm just going to go and put a rectangle in there okay now it's actually filled it with the color that's up there already um, okay now, here's the layers and stuff for this. So what I've got at the moment is that blue part that just went in then. So what I did was double click on that layer. And you can just play around with this. At the moment it's got a drop, drop shadow on it, as you can see, and a beveled edge. Now, that's because that's what I chose last time when I did it. But you can put in a texture if you want to. See, I'm just trying to keep it simple but you can change all sorts of things okay I'm just gonna leave it the way it is um, if you want to fill it with a different color I just go and choose a color just say ooh, they're all a bit ugly but anyway press OK so we're on this color now so now that's the bucket it's sometimes it looks like a gradient tool or a bucket depends which one you're choosing um, I'm gonna choose the bucket now it's not going to let you fill it until the layer is raster size so I'll just press OK okay and then it'll let me do it alright now we just want to put some text on it okay so we just get the text thing press there and start typing but the only problem is that the text is going to come out the same color so we should change the color first just pick any colour for now, just doing it quickly. Okay. Text. See, the text is black now. Okay. And I'm just giving you a quick example. Just make it, um, select the text while you're doing it, make it bigger. Okay, um, now I want to move it, so I'm just going to press on there so I can move it to wherever I want. Um, just say I want to put one of those arrows in. Okay, I'll show you how to do that. That was under the shapes, so I just pressed on that. You can go here and right click if you want, and that, that little menu comes up. Press custom shape tool. Okay, so this bar comes up the top, and there it is, the custom shape tool. Now here's the shapes to choose from. Now I just chose that shape. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, 
what I did was before choosing that shape I just made this the colors um, red let's go I'll just make it something it doesn't matter what color it is okay there we go red right now we're going to choose the shape which is already on let's go there choose the shape put it in there okay um, okay let's go over here and select it and we can we can do whatever we want with it really stretch it and stuff like that take it over the edge a bit um, then we'll go up to this menu here and flip it round okay we'll go to the edit menu go to transform okay and press rotate and that'll let you rotate the image now just say the subscribe button was under there or whatever <clears throat> I'll also just quickly show you how to make a button on there you go back to the shapes one oh sorry we'll just press on this first to, so we can apply that and finish with it press on the shapes tool right click on it and we'll have a um, rounded edge rectangle okay we'll just go and put one up here rounded edge rectangle right it's made it red because that's what color we were on okay we've got the shadow around the edges and stuff like that so let's quickly um, let's um, change the color of it okay we'll click on there choose a color now look this is not going to be color coordinated so don't worry about it because there'll be no time for that so it's not going to let me do it what a what I want to do is fill it again but it's not going to let me do it so it's, I'm going to have to rasterize it or whatever that is I have no idea um, but I just do it <laughs> um, and then I'm just going to fill it with the color okay there we go now if I want to put writing on top of that and make it look like a button um, I can go and do text right um, and again I'm typing in that color again whatever color is up there so let's change it to something else okay and let's shrink it a bit too because it's kind of got to go on the button so we'll just go like that like you can and then we want to we want to pick it up and move it so I want to press on that now I'm going to move it over here. Okay. Alright. Um, I think that's enough for that. So what I did, I made the banner. Okay. And then I went up to here and I said save, um, save for web. Okay. And <clears throat> I actually chose PNG 24, but you can, it doesn't really matter. You can choose whatever you want because it's just an image okay but you can do that um, PNG is portable network graphic so it's made for um, websites and stuff okay, I'm gonna press save and then it's gonna save it as a PNG and you just name it to whatever you want and just make note of where you're saving it um, you can save it on your desktop if you want to okay so I'm just gonna cancel that because I don't want to save it okay I'm gonna get out of that so we've got the banner um, that's part one to this okay um, you can watch the next video it's going to show how to make all these into image maps so you can click on them individually so you can click on that or that or that alright thanks for watching